गुड मॉर्निंग मुंबई मैं हूँ आपका दोस्त आपका होस्ट रेडियो टेन एफ एम मुंबई Mumbai and Pune these two cities are inseparable for generations we've been traveling back and forth between these two cities for work and to meet friends and families on either side of the hills that separate these two cities and if you use google maps and the expressway it would tell you that it takes about 3 to 4 hours to cross the expressway and reach either city but before the expressway and before google maps there was this old road So the plan is to drive to Mumbai via the old road, check out its architecture, the old colonial architecture of Mumbai, the modern architecture of BKC, and come back via the new expressway. And on this drive, then we get to know the Astor better. This car comes with rich heritage. The MG heritage is very rich, but it's also a modern car. It's full of tech. It's full of features, and we get to, going to get to know the car better on this drive. while we drive to mumbai and back and we'll try to find if there is any nostalgic Please value thank you mg if there is any nostalgic value on this drive on this old road or is the expressway so much better that it's worth forgetting this road forever unless you are a motorcyclist of course now for those of you who've been watching evo india for a while you know all about the astor it's got the 1.4 liter turbocharged petrol engine under its hood Uh, 138 horsepower, 220 newton meters of torque. It's got a six-speed torque converter, automatic. And uh, for the new subscribers, them, what do you think about the Aster? I think it looks really cool, right? In this segment, isn't it like the smartest-looking SUV out there? That beautiful grill, the headlights, the even the tail lights, the detailing in the tail lights, really beautiful. It's a very striking car on the road, and it just feels like the detailing and even the interiors feel like a, a step up in the segment, and that's why it's just going to be a nice drive to Bombay for me. It's a very comfortable car. The seats are lovely. It's electrically adjustable. Got a nice view of the road ahead, and the leather is really comfortable. Uh, so. Got a good driving position. This lovely panoramic sunroof. It's the winter, of course. Right, so, again, thank you, MG. Uh, it's a uh, winter morning, so the weather's nice. I've got my jacket on. The sun is hitting me, and I'm just going to enjoy this drive. What really impresses me on this old road that it's not got the best surface you can find, but the ride quality is really planned. It's comfortable without being too soft. so you know you're you know driving a car that's very stable and this thing has this interesting uh, electric assist or to the steering that can be changed so i'm in dynamic mode and it feels like the steering feels really right for uh, the winding sections of road that i'm encountering on the way the astro feels sure footed and the turbo petrol motor is nice and happy to rev sounds really nice and sporty I mean it's not loud obviously it's not a sporty car as such it's a comfortable SUV but it still feels nice to drive and um, maintaining good speeds on the highway is quite easy on this car The architecture of Mumbai is known for its British Gothic style 
infused with Indian architectural elements like the large domes and arches or the intricate ornamentation on these buildings as you can see on Honeyman Circle here or the Asiatic library behind me. The MJ Astor is a showcase of good craftsmanship that British automobiles are known for as well as a sleek exterior design and a blend of good technology packed into the car. Overall, the colonial architecture of Mumbai and the design of the MG Aster showcase the blending of cultural influences and the evolution of the city and the brand over time. South Mumbai and its colonial architecture is so picturesque, it can take you to another time in the world. And then you drive through Mumbai and watch the city transition into the modern metropolis it is today. This city deserved an equally modern expressway connecting it to Pune. And that's where we are headed. This expressway back in 2002 when it was inaugurated, I just learned to drive a couple of months after it was inaugurated and this road blew my mind. I actually thought that all the roads around the country are going to be like this. <laughs> I mean, how crazy is that, right? This was the first access controlled highway in the country. There were no pedestrians, no two-wheelers, no animals crossing the road. Safe at good speeds and it saved a lot of time. Bombay to Pune for the first time was just three, three and a half hours away. And back then, there was no traffic on this road. Now, this is the busiest highway in the country. But back then, it was an empty highway. I mean, you had to pay tolls and reach Pune. So, a lot of people initially were not prepared for it. But then, the amount of time that it saves, the efficiency, the, I mean, all your, your cars running smoothly, you're not overheating, the, the hills around Lonavla on the old road, there would be so many breakdowns, so many cars struggling to climb, so many trucks breaking down by the side of the road and that would slow the traffic down. On this highway, it was butter smooth, it was fast, it was absolutely relaxing. Like it's relaxing driving this Aster. I have put it on cruise control and you get the MG Pilot Assist so it controls its, your speed compared to the car in front of you and I just have to set my speed and just hold the steering and it'll just handle itself. It will even warn you if you're changing lanes, if you're wearing between uh, two lanes, so you're not, you know, uh, worried about suddenly swerving to the other lane. It, the car's gonna warn you. And so it will emergency brake if, if you're not paying attention and you're too close to the car in front of you. You can set the sensor, sensitivity from high to medium to low. In India, ideally, I would set it to low on roads where there is uh, no access control like this but on the expressway you can set it to high and be rest assured that you're not going to crash into anything as long as the forward collision warning is on and your sensitivity is on high of course it's also got pedestrian auto emergency braking then you get rear drive assist which once you turn on you can turn the lane change assist on, the blind spot detection in the mirrors, that's that's there. Then um, you, you go further down and you get the lane assist system. There is so much to play with in terms of safety and you get four modes in the lane assist system as well. Right now it's in off, so let me just turn it all on and then you again get the sensor sensitivity from high to medium to low. And then of course there's the speed assist system. So on a long highway, on an empty highway, when you're uh, covering long distances, these are really helpful systems to keep you on the wheel for longer periods of time without risking it and being safe and fast at the same time without you know, losing too much time on a long drive. So that's really helpful in a car and no other SUV in this segment gets all this. If you like your electronics in your car, the Aster is the car for you. Mm -hmm. 
Life is all about perspective. When you compare the old road versus the new road, you realize how things have changed for the better. It has grown economies, it has got families closer. You could even travel international very easily because it was a short drive away to the international airport now. And that's why Pune has grown a great deal after this expressway has come. Driving this Aster on the old road and the new road, it makes you realize why embracing technology is very rewarding. But what's the most important aspect is the engine, the powertrain, the dynamics. That brings you the most joy. And this Aster, it brings us a lot of joy. What do you think about the old road and the new road? Let us know in the comments. And of course, tell us what do you think about the Aster in the comments. See you on the next one.